the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 360, Revelation 1 to 3. Second generation Christians and the seven churches. The exhortation of the Holy Spirit led believers into victory. Even rebuke towards the churches is a gift of love by the Holy Spirit. First point. John met Jesus for the first time in Galilee and then again 60 years later in the island of Patmos. Among Jesus' twelve disciples, Peter and Andrew were brothers, and James and John were brothers. Among the disciples, John was the youngest and was always beside Jesus. John was also the disciple whom Jesus asked to look after his mother when he was on the cross. When Jesus appeared before them after the resurrection, he predicted John's missionary that was to come. The last book that John wrote, Revelation, was written amidst the growing persecution of the Roman Empire against the Christians. John was sent to the island of Patmos, and here God showed John visions, which were recorded in Revelation. John therefore was able to meet Jesus again in the island of Patmos, 60 years since meeting Jesus for the first time. Second point. John, in Revelation, sang the song of victory of Jesus Christ and the Church. The reason John wrote Revelation was in order to encourage and console the second-generation Christians who were being persecuted by the Roman Empire. Due to the growing hardship, there were those who gave up on their faith, and John encouraged them to have hope. It can be difficult to understand the record in Revelation. However, God said that there will be blessings to those who read it and keep what is written in it. God gave these words in order to encourage and console his people. Revelation can be summarized as the pre-received song of victory. Third point, John, per God's order, wrote to the second generation Christians who are being persecuted by the Roman Empire. John wrote Revelation not as his book, but as a record given by Jesus Christ, and he clearly explained this. Through John, God spoke about the seven churches in Asia who are keeping their faith despite persecution. The persecution of the Roman Empire against the Christians at the time expanded beyond Rome and even to the island of Patmos where John was exiled. Jesus came to see John in Patmos and showed him four visions. The first vision was of Jesus, the Lamb of God, seated next to God in heaven. The second was God's temple and ark. The third was the seven people trumpets, the new heavens and the new earths. The fourth was Jesus' yearning for his second coming. Fourth point, John wrote his letter in hopes that it will console and encourage Christians who were suffering from persecution under the Roman Empire. John recorded the words given by Jesus and sent the letter out to the churches in order to console and encourage them. The church in Ephesus was persevering through lies. The church in Smyrna was persevering through the persecution from the Jews. The church in Thyatira was keeping their faith and church strong. The church in Sardis had members who kept the church pure. The church in Philadelphia was also persevering through hardship. As such, the second generation Christians was trying their absolute best to persevere through hardship. Jesus encouraged them, but he also rebuked them for their misunderstandings. This was because rebuking also comes from love. Fifth point. John wrote praises, rebuke, and encouragement to the seven churches. 
John wrote to the seven churches. The word is here contained God's messages in the form of praises, rebuke, and encouragement. The words of encouragement and rebuke were equally given to all seven churches for different reasons, but as a whole, they were practical advice against the persecution and the false teachings. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.